Hello, Georgi Romanic here. Today we are going to talk about the pressure scale height. This is an interesting and rather important concept in atmospheric sciences that will help us to better understand how pressure decreases with height. From my previous videos or perhaps from some other video or a book, you know that pressure exponentially decreases with height. But this rate of exponential decrease can be different depending on the temperature of the environment. How this all fits together will be explained today by introducing this concept of the pressure scale height. So let's do it. As usual, let's start from the hydrostatic equation that says dp over dz is equal minus rho g, where p is pressure, z is height, rho is density, and g is gravitational acceleration. I will combine this equation with the equation of state, p equal rho r d t, where rho is density of air, and uh, r d is the gas constant of dry air, and t is absolute temperature. So here we assume that air is dry. We can extend this to moist air, but then we have to use virtual temperature, but I'm not going to do it because I still didn't talk about atmospheric thermodynamics, so we will just assume that air is perfectly dry. Combining these two expressions, we get that dp over dz is equal minus pg over rdt. Or... After rearranging this, we get that dp over p is minus g over r d t d z. Now we need to integrate this expression and uh, we carry out integration between surface, which is height z equals zero and we have pressure p s, up to some height z, where we have pressure p. Therefore, integral dp over p between ps and p is equal minus g r d integral dz over t. Remember, temperature is some function of height, so we have to leave it under the integral, and the height is between 0 to z. Or, after solving this integral, we will get that ln p over p s, that's the left side, is equal minus g over r d integral 0 to z dz over t, and I'll put t of z, so we know its function of height. If I run with exponential function through this equation, I will get that p is p s e to minus g over r d integral 0 to z dz over t as function of z. Now let's assume that temperature as a function of height is actually constant. In other words, it is not function of height, it's just a number. This assumption that the mean temperature is actually temperature or the temperature is mean temperature, is called isothermal atmosphere. So what this assumption would mean here in graphical form, that the temperature is just straight vertical line with height. This is T equal T mean. Mean temperature between surface and this height Z. Well, if we introduce this assumption that this is not function of height anymore, it's constant, we can move it in front of the integral, and uh, the solution for this integral will be p is equal ps e 
to minus g z over r d t. And uh, we already know from one of my previous videos that this is called barometric formula and it tells us how pressure changes with the height. But let's look at it a little bit further. Let's introduce a substitution hp that is equal r d t over g. This substitution is called pressure scale height or just scale height or sometimes isothermal scale height. I will usually call it pressure scale height. I hope you can see that dimensions of this thing have to be meters in order to cancel out with z so we have exponential that is non-dimensional. Now let's analyze this expression a little bit. If we say that hp is large that means that t has to be large because rd and g are fixed constants. But that also means if hp is large then pressure decreases slowly with the height. Let's see how that follows from this expression. Let's say here I have surface of the earth and somewhere here I also have surface of the earth. Furthermore, let's say here is some pressure P1. And let's say here air is warm, whereas over here air is cold. This would be location 1 and this would be location 2 above the surface. Well, this means that T1 is larger than T2 because this is warmer air than this one. Let me just for convenience combine these two to rewrite this equation as PS is E. Sorry, P is equal PS E to minus Z over HP. If this is warm air and this is cold air, then Temperature here is larger than temperature here. But that also means that HP in warm air is larger than HP in cold air. Therefore, Z over HP is smaller in warm air than it is in cold air. And therefore, E to the negative Z over HP is large in warm air and small in cold air. And that means that this same pressure surface P1 will be at lower altitude in cold air. Do you see this argument? I'll say it one more time. Because this is warm air, this is cold air. Temperature here is higher than temperature here which means HP is higher here than here. Z over HP is therefore larger here than here. But E to the negative Z over HP is therefore larger in warm air than it is in cold air, which means that pressure will decrease faster in cold air then it is decreasing in warm air with height. Of course, this is height, altitude, up. Now, I hope you can see that we can nicely generalize this to real situation on our beautiful planet. Let's say here is equator and here is a pole. Here we have generally warm air above equator and above, let's say, the North Pole, we have cold air. If the surface pressure, P0, is the same at the equator at the pole, then let's say P1 is at this height in warm air, that means it will be at lower height 
at the pole. There will be some inclination. Now, if P2 is over here above the equator, it will be at lower height above the pole. So again, we will have some inclination. Let's take the third one. P3 over here. Above the pole, it would be over here. And you can see with as we increase height, the inclination of pressure surfaces increases between the equator and the pole. And that's thanks to this reasoning that I explained previously here. So this is the argument that you can use to demonstrate that pressure in cold air decreases faster with the altitude than the pressure in warm air. And this is indeed how the pressure surfaces look like between equator and the North Pole or South Pole. And at the end, I would like to show you a nice table that will help you to better understand that this. Here is a pressure scale height for different air temperatures. So here is the temperature in degrees Celsius, temperature in kelvins and HP in meters. And you will remember that 15 degrees Celsius is the surface temperature of the standard atmosphere. So the pressure scale height in the standard atmosphere is approximately 8.4 kilometers, as you can see here. This was rather interesting discussion about pressure scale height. I hope you can see from these equations that I derived here that when geometric height above the surface is equal to the pressure scale height, Hp, the pressure decreased to about 37% from its surface value. So therefore, we would say that this Hp is E-folding scale for pressure. That is perhaps something that will additionally explain this whole business of the pressure scale height for you. Until next video, goodbye.